So regarding action in a film, so the long night and trauma center, you have a lot of action scenes. Can we talk about your pre preparation for yeah. those action scenes? Directing action is definitely something that was new for me. Uh, and it was something that, you know, I love action. I love action thrillers. So being able to get a chance to, to do an action movie was a lot of fun. And the preparation for that required a lot more in terms of understanding, okay, this is what's on the script. How do we best execute this with the tools that we have, with the budget that we have, with the time that we have? Because that's all it comes down to is being able to like read what's on the page and be able to, to, to execute that. So it required a lot of storyboarding, a lot of shot listing, a lot of in-depth conversations with you know the stunts and the VFX and saying, okay, what can we get away with? Or what, you know, how, what do you think in terms of, okay, we got, we got a car chase happening. How do we execute this car chase in four hours and we only have one camera on a Russian arm? How do we, how do we pull this off, right? So it's kind of digging into the people around you, your collaborators and who have done it before so that you can kind of see, oh, okay, this is, this is what this is gonna be able to do and this is what this is gonna be able to. And for me, an action scene has to serve a narrative purpose in the story. So you can't just have a blind action just because it's a cool action scene. Let's just blow something up or let's just have a fist fight to have a fist fight. Even a car chase in a movie has to have a beginning, middle and end. And it has to have that narrative thrust. Otherwise, it's just a random car commercial, two cars just skidding through the skidding through a road, right? So I always sit down there and challenge myself and say, okay, if we cut this action scene out, what are we gonna lose? And if we're gonna lose something, then like, okay, we need this action scene because our character has a definite goal in this action scene and he's achieving that goal and the antagonist is for whatever reason blocking that goal, right? So it, it always comes down to that and understanding how this action scene is gonna propel the story forward.